Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine, your favorite place for the latest scuba diving news and gear reviews. Today, I'm taking a closer look at the Techline Peanut, which is a unique take on a single cylinder wing. Uh, there are three versions of the Peanut wing, the 11 liter, the 16 liter, and the 21 liter. This one right here is the 16 liter, which is about 35 pounds of lift, so plenty for single cylinders. What you'll find on a lot of modern wing designs nowadays is a reduction in volume right up at the top between your shoulders. It's a bit of a waste of space to have a lot of gas volume up here. It can kind of throw your trim position a bit shoulder upright and the Peanuts takes that reduction in gas volume to the extreme with only enough volume at the top to basically fit your inflator, which is also offset. So it gives plenty of space for your regulators, for streamlined hoses and space behind your head so that you can stretch your neck properly and actually look and see and swim in a straight line. It also concentrates and kind of bottlenecks any gas towards the valve for easier venting. The peanut is a lot shorter and a bit wider compared to a traditional wing, so when it's inflated and you're on the surface, it actually lifts you a bit higher up out of the water. That way when you surface, it's more than just your head sticking out of the water, it's your head and shoulders as well so that boats can better see you. The shape and the buoyancy is thanks to the Peanuts 3D construction. Most wings have just a very round cross section when they're fully inflated, but the Peanut is kind of squared to fill in some of those corners and add a bit extra buoyancy in these big chunky lobes. The external shell on the standard version, because there's a few different versions of this, uh, the standard version is made from 1000 Dernier Nylon Cordura, well, there's also a Kevlar version, uh, I think they call it the professional version for a bit better abrasion resistance. The separate internal bladder is made from 240 polyurethane and down on the right hand kidney is your kidney dump uh, so you can vent when you're horizontal. The central section has two eyelets 28 centimeters apart so you can fit a single tank adapter and two pairs of these vertical slots for cam bands if you really want to be completely minimal. You can just thread a cam band straight through them. The inflator is on a pretty short 33 centimeter corrugated hose and it's a common K style inflator so very easy to understand and you can even pull it apart and give it a clean on the inside. This is how it arrives uh, in its own little bag. Uh, it's got the big Techline logo, uh, mesh section, a drainage bit down at the bottom uh, if you plan to travel around with your uh, your wing inside of a bag. Uh, drawstring top and then you have the, the wing itself. You also have a book of words, a, a user instruction manual for buoyancy compensators, uh, just information about it as well as a service uh, safety inspection schedule uh, which is kind of cool and you also get a pair of cam bands uh, these are, they're all sealed up, they're plastic buckled cam bands, uh, they've got the Techline logo on them um, yeah, let's take a closer look at the, uh, the wing itself Okay, so let's take a closer look at this peanut. So starting right at the top of the inflator, standard K-style inflator, you'll see these on a lot of BCDs. Uh, very traditional, very easy to get your head around. You've got the inflate button right next to the, uh, the inflator hose, and then the deflate button right on the tip and the oral inflation valve. Uh, there's soft silicone rubbery bit you can, remo you can remove, trust me, uh, and you can replace that if it ever wears out. Um, it comes with a braided low pressure inflator hose and the, a really short little corrugated hose. Uh, I'll show you this going like over my shoulder. Um, and yeah, really nice and neat. Some people prefer longer hoses, uh, others prefer shorter hoses because they have a little less travel. Uh, but yeah, this is nice and compact. That thing goes into this section here, which seems like pretty much purposely cut out just for the inflator to fit this fixed elbow and 
no pull dumps or anything on this. It's just a, a standard 90 degree elbow and the corrugated hose just sits over your shoulder. You've got two little retainer bands to, uh, to hold that low pressure inflator hose in place. And yeah, here you see where the peanut really has minimal volume at the top. You don't want too much buoyancy up around your neck because it just if there's any buoyancy around your neck and your shoulders it's just going to lift you up so your shoulders are upright and you're swimming diagonally through the water and also it can push that buoyancy further down you want it kind of down around your kidneys in the small of your back and thanks to its shorter size when it does have gas volume in these side sections when you're on the surface, it's gonna lift you further up out of the water so, uh, so you stick out of the water a little bit higher. All the way around the wing, you have this piping. So it's this rigid section, um, which gives it a slight just shape to it, I guess, part of their, uh, their 3D sectioning to, uh, to give it some shape. And this one is fully inflated. Obviously, there's no cylinder there, but you can see how big and bulbous these side lobes are and the general shape and how the buoyancy is really cut quite far down towards the, uh, the small of your back. The outer material, this is this tough 1000 dernier nylon material, uh, tough and abrasion resistant. So if you're going in a shipwreck or, uh, or you brush up against something, it's less likely to, uh, to rip and tear. Um, but if there are punctures, there's a zippered section in the center, like most wings, and that way you can get to the internal bladder. You can patch holes or you can just replace the entire thing. Now, you don't have a single tank adapter. Some, um, some single cylinder wings have a kind of rudimentary single tank adapter. Uh, you can, of course, fit one in this space, but when you have the cylinder in place, it cradles it quite nicely or it cradles the cylinder. So it naturally helps prevent your cylinder from twisting and turning, especially when it's fully inflated. Uh, you have multiple attachment points. So you have these stainless steel grommets at the top and the bottom, uh, 28 centimeters apart, which is pretty industry standard. And then you have these two coated sections, these two uh, vertical slots for Kanbans. So you can mount two Kanbans parallel, uh, again, holding your cylinder in place. On your left hand kidney, uh, you have that pull dump, the overpressure valve. You got a little red toggle on that as well. Uh, if you're not a fan of toggles, you can just untie that, but that's just in a really convenient place to, uh, to find nice and easily. And right down at the bottom, you have four grommets. So that's to allow any water that's gone between the external shell and the internal bladder to just vent out of the bottom as you're getting out of the water so you're not carrying a whole bunch of water around with you. All in, yeah, it's really well put together. Nice construction, nice materials on it. Uh, this is obviously the orange version, but it comes in a few other colors as well. And there are different versions. If you get the Kevlar versions, you can get a red and a, a gray one. Um, there's like a, an Arctic, and there's quite a few different variants of it. Um, the um, the different sizes as well. This is the like the medium, the like Goldilocks, the 16. Uh, but you also have the bigger 21 and the smaller 11. Uh, depending on what you need uh, but yeah I like it it's a good tough tough little uh, little wing it comes across the first time you like pick it up you're like actually that's quite small it's it's kind of chunky this section is a lot larger uh, compared to some single cylinder wings but that's because you don't have the volume around the top and you it doesn't feel quite as long neither uh, so you have more of this like horizontal buoyancy but it, it still fits behind your shoulders and um, and yeah, it, it's not going to be fully inflated for the entire dive. Um, but yeah, I, I can't fault it for its construction, the materials um, or the performance because the inflator works as well as any other K-style inflator would. Um, yeah, it's a good tough little BCD. So who's the peanut for? The peanut is for a backplate diver who dives single cylinders. If you're good with your weighting, and you're diving in warmer waters, you want something small, compact, and light for travel, then there's the Peanut 11. If you dive heavier cylinders like Steedles and thicker wetsuits, then you have the 21, but the Goldilocks in the middle is the 16. If you put it into perspective, most recreational BCDs have somewhere between 100 and 200 newtons of lift. If it's like a, a four extra small 
jacket style BCD that tends to have around 100 newtons, sometimes a little bit less. And if it's like a, a 3XL big jacket style BCD, it has like north of 190 newtons. The 21 peanut has about 200 newtons of lift. This one, the 16, has 160 newtons and the little 11, about 100 newtons. So different amounts of volume, different amounts of lift. Uh, so the 16 is very much that kind of Goldilocks right in the middle. But if you do want more lift, you can just opt for the 21. Or if you want something really stripped down, you've got the little 11. There's also an Arctic version uh, for colder waters. There's a ladies version, but as far as I can tell, um, it just has purple stitching on it. Uh, there may be something else in there. Um, there's also a travel version that oddly weighs the same amount as the standard version, uh, but it does have a little aeroplane embroidered into the top. Um, it's a small, tough little wing. Uh, it's a touch wider than a standard wing and quite chunky when it's inflated, but it's all shaped to give you the best position in the water, both underwater and on the surface. And it's all flexible. There's no hard rigid sections apart from the actual inflator and the elbow. Uh, so you can roll it up for easier storage or packing. The branding is pretty bold compared to some other wings, but Techline do offer a personalization option where you can have your name or like branding stitched into it, into the wing instead. The Peanut 16 costs a little over 330 euros, which is about 280 pounds, which pegs it right in the really competitive price point for single cylinder wings. There are similar wings out there that are as much or even much more expensive, but specs wise, when you look at the materials and the lift capacity and all that, um, they're very similar, um, just more expensive and they don't have this asymmetrical design. And you can also have it fitted to a range of different backplates and harnesses from Techline. Uh, they do sell the individual components like this, but they also sell them as complete sets. Uh, so you can fit it with a heavy steel backplate or a very light carbon fiber backplate, but the wing remains the same. I like it uh, and I'd honestly like to spend a bit more time with it uh, so that I can really, really test it out and uh, almost test it to destruction. Um, but I have to send it back, unfortunately. Um, it's just one of those things that just kind of just goes with you anywhere uh, because it's really tough material. Uh, it's really nice and compact as well. And it holds you in a good position in the water for a really fair competitive price. Uh, for more information uh, and a store locator, you can head over to Techline's website, techlinediving.eu and head over to our website, scubadivingmag.com for the latest scuba diving news and reviews and subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. Thank you for watching everybody. And of course, safe diving. Oh,